Hi, so I'd like to welcome you to episode 4 of Mastering E3 series. So in episode 3, we took you through the process of adding core connections, adding in wires, cables and signals into your project. Now, I'm imagining we're a bit later on in the project process, okay? So many, many litres of coffee have been consumed and now we're ready to finally release our project. So this may be into a PLM system or this may just be to somebody on the shop floor so that they could start generating and creating the parts that you have designed. Now, the first one we're gonna do through is doing a PDF export. So as we can see, I've generated a pretty generic um, project here. Okay, so I've got two high level assignments to generate two different bill of materials later on. But in within this, I've got three sheets. So there's one sheet, two sheet, and three sheet. Okay, so these are source and destination arrows. Okay, which then run and allow me to multi-page design. Now what I'm gonna do is, if I wanted to, I could go right click on page one, and I could go export PDF. This would allow me to do an export a PDF of just sheet one. If I wanted to go more project wide, what I would do is I would go to file, export, and go to PDF. Within here, I get a series of options. Okay, so the most important ones are the export range. So the export range are all would be all sheets. Current sheet would be the sheet you're on. And you can also set dynamic ranges. Now, if you have hyperlinks and source and destination arrows within your project, you have to make sure if you have a source on one page to a destination on another, that both of those sheets are in your export in order for those links to work in your PDF export. As you will see now, if I go to desktop, I'm gonna do a PDF export of all the sheets and I'm gonna go save. And it's gonna ask me, do I want to open it? Yes, please. And as we can see, my PDF has been exported. Now these source and destination arrows, so I'm imagining we're in a position, we're in the middle of a, a muddy field and we've got a broken machine and we're trying to fix it. We don't necessarily have access to E3, but we do have access to a PDF document. I can then use this with all these source and destination arrows working, whereas if I then click on it, they can allow me to then trace through the circuit and attempt to try and fix the issue, if there is one. Um, so yeah, that's PDF exports, very useful. Now, there's also pre-made scripts in E3, which you can use. If you go to the Tools tab, under Tools, you go to Reports. Under Reports, we have the options of different exports that we can do. So the first one you may want to do is a content sheet. So if I run this, as we can see, it then runs the contents of what's in my project, okay? Now this is really useful, okay? So it means then you can then run it at the end of your project as this script is not live. If I added more sheets into my project, they will not be added in at this point. I would then have to rerun the script and delete the pre-made um, uh, sheet that's already been created. Now, another thing we could do is I go to Tools, Reports, Excel perhaps, and then let's run a bill of material. If I now run my bill of material, and you've got to give it a second, it's then going to open up. And as we can see, this is an Excel bill of material with all the parts on the sheets. And they're all separated based on their high level assignment. And if I put a location, they would also be separated based on that. And ignore part Bob, that was just an additional part I've added into my DTO4 4P, as it is just to show you can add additional parts onto uh, connectors. Okay, so I'm going to close that down. You can then obviously export that and do as you wished with it. Also with an E3, there's the option to use the report generator. Now this is a free additional add-on module which you can use and it makes designing of reports more easy. And there are generated, there are training courses associated with it which you'll be able to access. I'm sure there'll be a link down below um, to the Zoom website where you can see that. And hopefully there'll also be a webinar there which was done by my colleague Ryan uh, which will take you through the process of using the report generator. I'm gonna take you through the creating process. Okay, so this is just gonna be about generating the report. I'm not gonna to go too deep in the design process. Perhaps that could be a future video. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna to go to tools, uh, we've got add ons sorry. And in add-ons, I'm gonna to go to the report generator. And in the report generator, I'm gonna choose the creator option. And I'm gonna let that open and give it a sec. And as we can see, I've now opened that up. And now I get options of series reports I have pre-made to do. And as you can see on the right-hand side, I've also got the option of those structure nodes. So to start with, let's just run a bill of material. And as you can see here, I've got it set to be a report preview. Okay, so this isn't going to export it to a file yet. I'm just going to see what it looks like. So I do create report. It's then going to generate me a report as follows. And as we can see, I've done one based on the entire project with all of those connectors as was very similar to that Excel file we did earlier on. Now, if I just move this bar out the way and press close, I'm now going to go and do it just based on ENG, okay? So now I'm going to separate out that bill of material based on the higher level assignment. So I now do that and do create report again. I'm then just going to run it and it's only going to bring in the parts for ENG, which is quite useful. From here, what you could do is you could export it. 
You could do it to a PDF, you could put it straight back into E3, or you could even email it directly to somebody should you wish, okay? So cutting out a step there, should you need it. Now I'm gonna close this down. Now also just to show you, if I now go to LCH, run a bill of material and do a create report, as we can see, it's now done the other part of the project. So that was how to create reports and generate data in E3. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye. So I'd just like to thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or feedback on the video that has been delivered, please email the link down below. Um, and if you have any issues with your E3, there'll also be a link to the Zookin website where you'll be able to find out the contact details to the region which serves you. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye.